What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be testing the new Airbus rocket launcher against the Atominids. So it just uh, got added to the game fully to use on all planets now. And I want to see how it can do against the bugs. Because I already tested it against the bots and it was not great. It was okay, I guess you could say, but let's see how it does. This is just a simple seal bug holes mission. First off, I want to see if I can actually seal the bug holes with like the shrapnel. So let's kind of just shoot in the middle of this area here. So it did actually clear that area decently well. Obviously, it's not going to kill the Troja, but didn't expect it to. That's what that's for. The Shrieker Nest is going to be an issue. Let's send one more in there. Oh, don't go for me, Troja, please. Oh, you're going. I can get phone up a way here. I want to send it at that hood back there and see what happens. But the charges are making that difficult. Yeah, let's use one. This will be a close range shot, but let's use one right there. It wasn't awful, but at the same time, I still almost died and they weren't even that close to me. I just think the fact that you have to be that careful with your positioning, I think just makes it really not worth it. See if I can get any more value out of it. Oh, come on. Also, the reload time. You almost have to use team reload because the reload time on it is awful. This is not a good spot for myself to be in right now. See, I can't even use my support weapon to help me because I'm way too close. I'll just die. Which is the worst part about it. I just gotta keep running. Until let's launch one now. I mean, it gets kills when I can get thrown enough away. But then I have to reload, and by the time I'm done, they're already caught up to me again. Yep, and I finally killed myself with it. Yeah, I don't know. Enemy tactical asset within threat range. The only good thing is, it is not struggling to kill them. At least most of the bugs. Let's go pick it up here. Oh, I died way at the edge of the map. Oh, I hate hunters so much. How many bugs are over here? Well, it's just the group that just killed me. I'm probably gonna die again. Oh, I died way up there. Way I ran. All right, let's get this reloaded. I only have two shots left. Oh, come on. Oh, please reload it faster. Let's see if I can get phone up away. I'd like to shoot it at those guys. Okay, shoot one right there. Okay, that was actually a really good shot. Ten kills. One of the best ones I've had with it, actually. I think so far what I'm seeing is you can use it. It's more effective against the bugs definitely than the bots. I think stun grenades are actually making this very easy to use just because it, I can just slow them down and not have them be on top of me every two seconds because now I can launch another one. It, it is not struggling to kill them, at least for the most part. Hive guards seem to be a bit more tanky against it just because they have medium armor probably. But uh, overall, I think it it's definitely usable, more so than it was against the bots, I think. With my resupply, I'd like to get a couple more shots here. And these guys were low health. They died very quickly. It definitely did some damage to them.
Let's see if I can find any more bugs to test it on. I'd shoot one there, but I feel like uh, I don't want to kill him. Maybe if I shoot one far. Let's see what that does. Okay, so that shot was a bit high. It didn't do a lot. I'm gonna try shooting one a bit more lower to the ground. See what happens. Cause that's a lot of hive guards there with all the medium armor. Shoot one down. Okay, there we go. So if you're able to hit like on the ground in front of the bugs, it it, it does seem to be killing them well. Cause that killed like I think ten about. That was a good shot. Uh, two shots left. Three shots left. Oh jeez. <laughs> I'm just gonna toss a laser here to help us get to the extraction point, I think. You need to die. There we go. Come on. So we've got a bug hole right here. Okay. I did not want to get it. There we go. Let's launch one more, see if it goes all the way out there. Okay, that was a close one, but that was a decent shot. It is very fun to use, I'll go ahead and say that. I mean, I do enjoy seeing how many kills I can get with it. It might not be the most viable thing ever, but... Uh, we need to get that extraction called in. Supplies yet. If I can back up far enough, I'll shoot one at that hood there. Okay, so you do have to aim pretty low with it, I think. Because I think when I'm aiming high like that, the shrapnel just doesn't hit the ground as much. So you do need to kind of aim more at the ground to get good value out of it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there are a lot of bugs here. I will say that because it takes your support weapon slot though, I mean, I just don't have a good weapon to deal with these bugs right now. It's just not ideal. Oh, come on. Okay, I can't even be Yep, that's unlucky. Somehow I'm alive. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. If I didn't have six stems, I'd be dead right now already. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna die anyway. Okay, well, so this is what having something like a, like the flamethrower right now would be incredibly helpful. But instead, I've got this rocket launcher that can only be used at long range, which is a bit unfortunate in this situation. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Yes, you're still hunting me, then. I don't know why I'm alive right now. This is ridiculous. There's like five Trojans on me. <laughs> oh, I just want to try my rocket launcher a bit more. Let me get away. Come on, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna try to reload. I can't even reload it yet. That's still coming. Let's see. Are you serious? <laughs> I did not think he could go over that. Come on, reinforce me. Yeah, so I mean, this is kind of what I expected to happen, but when you get swarmed like that, it's just completely useless. I mean, having the flamethrower there would have been amazing. It, you know, easily an S tier weapon against the bugs, but instead I have, obviously, this. Not completely ineffective, but definitely not the greatest weapon ever. I think if, with a bit more, maybe, team coordination, it could be better, but. Let's see, Let's see what it does for those hunters down there. Oh, okay. I have. Yeah, I think it got attracted to that dead bug that almost got me killed. Yes, yeah, so those bugs need to be fixed, which I, I mean, there's no way I can ever recommend it. The fact that it is attracted to literally anything is a big issue right now. 
Let's see if I, well, let, let's see if, let's test it. I might die here. Let's see what happens though. Okay, there it actually worked. Killed most of those bugs. That wasn't bad. Let's see. ETA T minus 30 seconds. No, don't hit me, please. Oh, leave me alone. Let's see if I can't get another good shot off with it. Those chargers would leave me alone. Shoot one up on top of that hill. Oh, okay. It saw nothing. <laughs> I hardly ever see that happen. Okay. Leave me alone. Okay, where did you guys come from? Oh, come on, let's extract. Pelican Jeez, this is insane. Oh, come on. Wow. That was chaotic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's about what I expected to happen against the bugs. Just the fact that they swarm you when the bots tend to try to, you know, shoot you from a distance. It's just... There's almost no uses for it. You get, like, one or two shots off, and the bugs get too close, and then you just can't shoot them again with it. I mean, I spent a good, what, like, two minutes, I think, running, running away from Trojas and, like, other hunters who were just in my face. But yeah, it was a fun weapon to use, but I think until they at least fix all the bugs with it and maybe buff it a bit to where it does better damage, to like the cluster bomb is better, I just don't think I can recommend it. I just think overall, it there's just so many better options. But yeah, as a fun weapon, I gave it a 10 out of 10. I did enjoy using it when I could. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like and sub to my channel if you uh, thought it was good. And yeah, thank you for watching.